Yeah. Oh. All right, last one. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, I forgot about the bar. It's not one of the 3D printed parts, so... Okay, here are all the parts that we're going to need, so let's go through them. The inspiration for this project came from this movie, Spy Kids 3D, where in this scene they're driving ridiculously futuristic vehicles. So I knew that I wanted to start with a big wheel in the back, so I jumped over to Fusion 360 and I sketched up a hub with an extruded section that's just gonna hold the gear. So we'll be using a chain, which might be a little unconventional for a project like this, but I just wanted the thumbnail to look great, let's be real. So I printed the tire out of TPR. The only difference I see from TPR to TPU is that TPR is a bit more flexible. Actually, it might be a lot more flexible. So that's just gonna go around the wheel hub. It's gonna be pushed on there. Now let's move on to the PLA parts. This is the main frame. We'll take a couple of skates, cut off the metal and put one on each side of this red PLA part. And this is later on gonna be able to go left and right. The final one is the motor mount where this electric motor will be placed. It has a small gear on it for the chain. I got a big servo that's gonna let the plate go left and right. A couple of washers, screws and bearings. I'll be using a 150 amp speed controller with either a 3 cell battery, it's 12 volt, or we could go all the way up, depending on if we need a weight or not, we could use a 6 cell 8 amp hour battery. Massive. Receiver, transmitter, a couple of rods for reinforcement. That is pretty much it, so let's get to the building. Also, if you haven't seen this video, you can check it out up here, up here. Okay, I just came across my first blunder. Big shock, am I right? I didn't take in consideration when sketching up this motor mount that I was gonna have to use an outrunner motor. An inrunner doesn't have a bell that rotates, but the outrunners, they have a bell. And so when putting in the motor, in the motor mount, the bell rests against the PLA. And so here's my plan. I'm just gonna heat this PLA section up and I'll take a big rod and push on it till it, it, it makes so that the motor levitates off the PLA. What's up with this steel? It is absolutely impossible to drill through. So I 3D printed holders for the blades that would allow me to just insert them instead of trying to drill through the Swedish Viking steel. And with everything mounted, tightened and inserted, that was it. The resemblance is uncanny. There it is. I don't believe I explained the steering all that well. Maybe there isn't too much to explain in the first place, but I implemented the holders in the 3D printed design from the start. So it was just a matter of hooking up the rods to the servo. We don't have a whole lot of authority. It doesn't go left and right all that much. So 
honestly, I'll, I'll be surprised if we can even turn left and right, but that's just one of the things, you know, that could go wrong. One of the many things. I 3D printed the motor mount, so now we can tighten the chain. I've had some problems with the chain jumping off the gears. So what I've done is I've printed a new motor mount that lets me adjust the tension of the chain without having to use a tensioner like this. So I can just move the motor further away from, from the main wheel. Let's give it a first try. Uh, it's been positive degrees for quite a while, so a lot of water, which uh, might also be a problem, but I also did take the time to mount the 360 camera on it for the viewing pleasure. So here we go, first test. Maybe I should turn it on before I... Well, big surprise, we need traction. I already had skateboard wheels with screws in them that would be a pretty good length from this video. So I started uninserting the studs, which didn't take as long time as you would think. For the ICE vehicle, I decided to heat up the metal and let it sink into the TPR and the PLA. This, on the other hand, did take quite a while. Thank you Woodpeck Studio for sponsoring the video. Woodpeck Studio makes wooden world maps and lets you choose the size. The largest one being 3 meters wide, which is as large as the 3D printed map. They also laser edge details like names of the countries and capitals. This is the world map with varying thickness and stained wood. It was even fun to put up on the wall and the reviews of this place looks good too. So check it out in the description below and use the coupon code ARSELIFON for 10% off. And that's really just the only difference from yesterday. I've put studs in the tire, 90 to be exact, all around the tire. Now, we'll see if it works. I'll give it a 60% chance of working, a 20% chance of working really well, and another 30% of just uh, failure. Dude, that joke is getting old. I got to admit it was a strike of freaking brilliance not to screw each stud in, because the way the blue PLA part was printed meant that each layer would have been uh, easily split by the screw so melting them in all the way through the TPR as well as the blue PLA meant that uh, not only did we prevent uh, prevent the blue PLA from splitting uh, but they're really strong as well hopefully even stronger than if we just would have screwed them in so that, that was definitely the way to go I'm also adding 10% chance of this just going through the ice All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, I can't really steer it all that well. I, I can't steer it, the turning radius is, is ridiculous. Let me tilt the camera the other way. Okay, let me just do a few passes and I'll make sure you can see it. Here we go. So here you can see the turning radius. Yeah, it's not great. All right, you can't barely see it. Here we go. It's a straight up death machine if it decides to go full throttle. I do wish we had a smaller gear for the back tire or a bigger gear for the motors. That way we could increase the top speed but decrease the torque because right now we have like a wasteful amount of torque. It doesn't need all the torque that it has. I also want to remove the camera and see if it makes any changes. Uh, but yeah, it does work. I'm surprised it even goes forward. But there's definitely a few things we could change. Whoopo! chain came off perfect
You know why this is a problem? Because the studs are kind of mm, in the ice. Come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's a win. That's a win. Okay, I took the camera off, so we'll see if there's a difference. Here I'm testing a much larger gear on the motor which would decrease torque but increase the top speed. It was definitely faster but now the torque was a bit too low. Also the chain kept coming off which was probably because of the 3D printed parts flexing. The frame was poorly designed, it would have to be much stronger for next time. I tried to keep the weight down but for this contraption the weight was actually helpful for traction so I could have made the frame a lot stronger without sacrificing performance really. Also I hit the 360 camera with the branch which wasn't so good. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I give this a This was mediocre at best But hey, it's not stuck out there on the ice, nor at the bottom of the lake, so Okay, have an awesome day, bye